moving into the next topic, that is decimals, we will solve the first sum under addition and the first sum under subtraction as well, wherein addition of 102.8 plus 15.21 is the normal addition method, that is 102.8 and 15.21. Just as you can see, try to keep the decimal points under each other so that you can align the whole addition method. So I can write 8.80, 0. it does not make a difference. 0 plus 1 will give you 1, 8 plus 2 will give you 10, 0, and carry 1. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8, 1 plus 0 will give you 1, and 1 will come down. So this is your answer for addition. Similarly in subtraction, 18.62 minus 1.7. 7, I can put a 0 here. So 2 minus 0 will give you 2. 6 minus 7, it's not possible. So you cancel out 7 and bring 1 here. That would be 9. 7 minus 1 will give you 6 and 1. This is your answers. So now we move into multiplication and division under decimals, where we are going to solve the second sum under each type. Over here, it says 7.25 into 1.52. We are going to solve this sum as if the decimal point itself is not there, 725 into 1.52, like a normal multiplication. So 5 twos are 10, 0 carry 1, 2 twos are 4 plus 1, 5, 7 twos are 14, 0. 5 fives are 25, 5 carry 2, 5 twos are 10 plus 2, 12, and 5, seven, five sevens are 35 plus 1, 36. Double zero, 1 fives are 5, 1 twos are 2, and 1 sevens are 7. 0, 5 plus 5, 10, 0, carry 1, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 1, 10 plus 2, 12, carry 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0 carry 1, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 1, 11. Now you have double 1, 0, 200. Now over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and look at the decimal points. How many numbers are there after the decimal points? That is two numbers in the first and two numbers in the second. So that means four numbers totally are on the right hand side of the decimal point. So over here, we are going, to, so that means I need four numbers on the right hand side of the decimal point. So I will just go 1, 2, 3, 4. So 11.02 is your answer. Now moving into division. Now over here, it's 0 0.8 as your, uh, yeah, so 45.28 divided by 0 0.8. So over here is going to be a little tedious to solve the sum. So I just multiply this by 10 to make 0 0.8 to 8, which makes it much more easier. And so since I'm multiplying 0 0.8 by 10, I have to multiply this also by 10. That would be 452.8. Now 8, 5 is a 40, minus, you get 5, get 2 down. So now 8, 6 is a 48, minus, and you get 4. Now get 8 down, and you get 48. Now since 8 is after the decimal, so you have to put a decimal point. 8, 6 are 48, and you have no remainder. So this is your answer, 56.6.